Last week, we had seen an incredible leak from OpenAI related to the new revolutionary GPT-5 model that is coming out pretty soon. For those who do not know, last week, we had a preview of a variation of either the GPT-5 model being tested in LM Arena or maybe a variant of the O3, and it was quite revolutionary. This was a coding model that was outputting insane generations and doing amazingly well on various benchmarks against many top tier models like Opus 4, Sonnet, as well as DeepSeek. And just today, there was a new OpenAI model being seen on LM Arena called Lobster, and somewhat even better than the O3 Alpha that we saw last week. The O3 Alpha is something we had showcased and it was insanely good at generating code in one shot. In my personal opinion, I believe that these models are probably some sort of form of GPT-5 and it is maybe at least a variant of it which is just being tested out. These leaks or hidden model drops are something companies do to essentially test out their models with real user bases and to see if there is anything they can refine before the model drop. What's also funny is that they have released a few other variants that were dropped alongside the release of the new Lobster model with the release of Starfish and Nectarine. And I gotta say, some of these names are pretty weird. And before I even get to showcasing this new Lobster variant, I just want to mention that OpenAI is actually preparing to launch GPT-5 in August, which is why we're seeing this huge ramp up in new models dropping. We had also saw a new GitHub leak, which had revealed something massive. In a config file, it had stated that there is an OpenAI GPT-5 reasoning alpha model. And within this benchmark file, it is directly calling this model titled this GPT-5 reasoning alpha model with a timestamp. And it isn't just speculation anymore. It's evidence that OpenAI is quietly running these internal evals on reasoning tasks with early variants of the GPT-5 models, like it could be Lobster, Starfish, or even Nectarine. And it's possibly a way to optimize and fine tune before the public release. Before we get started with today's video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Omakase AI, a no-code platform that lets any business build a voice-powered AI sales agent in just minutes. Just drop in your website URL and boom, Omakase scrapes your content, learns your brand voice, and creates a smart AI agent that actually talks to your customer with the knowledge of your website. And I mean really talks, like with real-time conversation. Just take a listen. Hi there, I need some help with some AI solutions. Certainly. Could you share what specific business needs or challenges you're aiming to address with AI solutions? You can see how fast that response was. The AI agent can also recommend products with clickable links, allowing customers to directly view the items. And think of it as like hiring a 24 seven sales and support rep that knows your product inside out without writing a single line of code. Whether you're using Shopify or just running a service-based site, Omakase boosts conversions while cutting down support tickets, way smarter than tools like Zendesk or Intercom. So if you're running a business, this is a must try. Turn your website into a voice-powered sales machine at omakase.ai. Use the link in the description below and you're going to be blown away of what it's capable of doing. Now, a part of these leaks, as well as these new hints that the team of OpenAI is dropping, we had seen a new quote that was released from one of the researchers or team members, a part of OpenAI, where they had stated that GPT-5 is not only better at academic and competitive programming problems, but also at more practical programming tasks that real life engineers might handle, like making changes in a large, complicated code base full of old code. And essentially, we can see that this is going to be an insane reasoning as well as a non-reasoning model that is going to be able to navigate real world messy uh, problems, whether that's legacy code bases, where it could help refactor old uh, code, understand sprawling dependencies, and even make surgical changes without breaking the actual system. And if you are to pair this with what we saw with the lobster model that we just saw, it is becoming pretty clear that GPT-5 is going to become a real software engineer and it's going to be hinting a step closer to achieving AGI. Now, something interesting that I didn't really think about is that it could be that these new variants could be different uh, access points to the GPT-5 model. There could be different variants like a low tier, medium tier, or even a high tier 
where it could be accessible to different users of the ChatGPT plans. So if you're on the free tier, you would get access to Starfish. Uh, it's like a supposed variant of GPT-5. Or if you possibly have ChatGPT+, Plus, you would get Nectarine and then something like O3 Alpha, Lobster, or another variant could be for the high-end pro users of GPT. But now that we have gotten that out of the way, let's now take a look at all the new variants that OpenAI had mysteriously released through Ella Marina. First up, we have Lobster, and in this case, it was able to develop this Tesla showroom reveal animation, and it was able to prompt this up in one single prompt, and you can see that you can change the accents of the different tech, the charging station, the timeline, and you can even change the simulation speed. And this is actually pretty cool because it was able to create this cinematic level storytelling for this animation, which optimized for different visual production pipelines. Now, if you were to send in something similar like a prompt like this to a chat GPT model or even a Claude for Sonnet model, it would be able to create a simulation, but it wouldn't be able to focus on the insane prompt following precision that was sent into this variant, the lobster model. Now, this is probably my favorite prompt that was sent into Lobster, and it was to design the Frontier OS concept style. And it was able to do a pretty good job in creating this aero aesthetic. And it's something that replicates kind of like a Windows Vista operating system. And it was able to create the correct UI logic, the layout, and the apps that are actually functional, a part of this US, like a notepad or something like viewing uh, the Minesweeper game within operating system and it did this in a single shot within the web dev arena now if you're interested in trying out these different variants i'll leave a link to ella marina in the description below this is essentially a testing site that companies as well as different model providers use to assess how well the model is in terms of uh, testing out different generations i'm currently testing if the model is able to generate a minecraft clone and you can see that grok4 attempted to do this but it wasn't able to actually create the output of it whereas the lobster model was able to create this clone and i've opened it up within a new tab and actually i can play around with it and it, i can actually collect the different blocks and i have the ability to even place it and move around so within the main lm web dev arena you can send in any sort of natural language prompt like a video streaming platform and it's going to then compile two different models to generate it and then after you finish assessing which model did a better job It'll reveal which model had generated that response so you can see that it was able to generate a clone of twitch.com on the right hand side you can see the generation of a basic uh, streaming site and then on the left side you have a pretty accurate twitch clone now obviously i'm going to go towards the left side because it looks a lot better in my opinion i can simply say the left one is better and afterwards it'll showcase which one had generated it so in this case the kimi k2 model was able to generate this model Whereas the Nectarine model had generated this. This is another OpenAI model, by the way, not the lobster. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord, where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on these new leaks from OpenAI. I'm really excited to see when they actually end up dropping this. It's going to be a revolutionary month for AI. So definitely stay tuned. Make sure you guys subscribe. This is something that I highly recommend that you try out within Ella Marina because they're soon going to be taking these models variants down. So definitely make the most out of it within these next few days. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Join our newsletter. Follow me on the Discord as well as on the Twitter page. And lastly, make sure you guys yesterday. subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.